can print a copy for you if you want. Ugh. Don't go to any trouble, Meredith. Brett will help me. I can't take this anymore. What's your problem? It's Meredith. Mum thinks I should spend more quality time with her, so she told me to spend the whole day with her. Oh, that's not that bad. Hey, Brett! Meredith, leave him alone! Come and look at this! My good mum just sent me to the desert without food or water instead. Hey, Brett, guess what? Meredith, you can't just stick your camera in people's faces like that. I wasn't. I was looking at the newspaper. There's a competition to design a Valentine's Day card. Great, well, you can do that for the rest of the day. We can both do it. Meredith, what would I know about Valentine's Day? I'll teach you. We could win a hundred bucks. Come on. Yeah, come on, Brett. A chance to show your sensitive, more romantic side, eh? Well, listen, you're pretty good at that type of stuff. Oh, no, you don't. No, you're not dumping your responsibilities on me. Oh, but Meredith loves spending time with you. Oh, you mean while you sneak across to Ireland for a few hours and chill out? I don't think so. Yeah, the perfect Valentine's Day shot. Oh. Thanks, Meredith. Here, Brett. I've done one for him, too. Wow, that, that's great, Meredith. Let's make a Valentine's Day card for the contest. Hey, I've got a better idea. Why doesn't Hannah help you? Han Hannah? something going on between you two? Between which two? Where did you get that? Honestly, Hannah. Brett Miller? Even you should be able to do better than him. There is nothing between me and Brett. It's all right, Hannah. Your secret's safe with me. There is no secret. There's nothing. So you won't mind the girls knowing then? Bernie! Maeve! Over here! I thought you said it was nothing. Okay. Okay. It's a secret. Aha. Uh -huh. And I really need you to help me keep it. Of course I will. But you will help me out when I need a little hand now and then, won't you? What? Well, it's a very fair trade, Hannah. What do you want me to do? Brett, you said you'd help me. No, Meredith, you said I'd help you. Oh, all right, then you go do whatever you want. Thank you. Will you tell Jackie or will I? All right. What do you want me to do? I need some ideas. Well, first of all, you need to take some good photos. What's wrong with the ones I've already taken? Well, they're fine, but they don't exactly sound like Valentine's Day, do they? Then what? Then you pick the best one. Then you put it in the centre of the card and surround it with glitter and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how do I get the right photo? Well, well I suppose. Yeah? All right. I'll take them. Oh, it's you. So, how's things? Wonderful. Now that I have such a helpful assistant. <laughs> sure. 
What do you want me to do? Not you. Hannah doesn't play kamoki. She does now. <laughs> By the way, I know about your little secret. You and Hannah? What? It's all right, girls. Hannah will bring all the equipment back. Won't you, Hannah? How did you find out? Don't worry. I'm not going to tell anyone. I thought she was talking about the portal. Please. Photo's bad enough. Why? It's not like we're doing anything. Didn't you see the background? No. There's a lifesaver's boat. Oh. Yeah. Tara hasn't noticed it yet. But, you know, if she looks closely, how are we going to explain that? Well, they've got life-saving boats in Ireland, don't they? Not with Australia on the side. Oh. We have to get that photo back. <laughs> how are we going to do that? We're just going to have to play along. Play along. Make her think that we're an item. What? If she thinks we're not bothered about being found out, then she won't threaten to expose us. It sounds pretty desperate. We are desperate. Oh, Hannah! Run and fetch me a can of cola, will you? I don't really feel like it right now. Hannah, I asked you nicely. And I told you. Nicely. No. Let me get this straight, Hannah. You're telling me you don't care who finds out about you going out with the caretaker's assistant. Hey, hang on a minute. It's not this job. Why should I? Mm. I don't buy it. You two are up to something. And I'm going to find out what it is. Good one, Miss Know-it-all. She didn't swallow it one bit. What's your next bright idea? Don't worry. I'm not finished yet. Darling. Guys, check this out. Leave some for me, you pig. I bought it. And keep smiling. I'll tip it all over you. on me now, Brett. She's not going to buy it, you know that. Since when have you been an expert on... <sighs> you know, I'm so glad Tara found that photo of the two of us and put two and two together. I guess it's just impossible to outfox Tara Keegan. Yeah, she's so intelligent. How does she do it? Some people are just born smarter than others. Oh. Hi, Tara. Hey, Tara, we're just talking about you. We thought maybe you and Martin and, um... Brett and me, well, maybe we could hang out sometime. <laughs> me and Martin? With you two? It'd be so cool. You really are on another planet, aren't you? I guess we're just lucky, aren't we? Oh, and that, that photo that you have of Brett and me? You can keep it if you want. We've plenty others. <laughs> okay, we've had our fun. If you two want to be an item, that's your business. But leave me and Martin out of it. Completely. I don't believe it. What if your crazy ideas actually worked? My ideas always work. It's 
your ideas that are crazy. Now let's just burn this thing before somebody else. What's this, Hannah? Where was this taken? Uh, uh, on the beach. That much I can see. My office, now. Just how do you account for this? <laughs> You're not gonna believe it, miss. Try me. There's this, um, weird shape in the rock. See, it opens up to some sort of a, a, a portal, and you step through it and zap and... Please be serious, Brett. Do you realize what a serious breach of school regulations this is? Pupils are not allowed off the premises without permission. I'm afraid, Hannah, I'm going to have to consider suspension. What? And Brett, as I cannot possibly condone a relationship between a member of my staff and a pupil, I must also therefore consider your dismissal. You mean fire me? It, it was all my fault. Miss Murphy, please, don't punish Brett. He knew nothing about it. According to this, he knew quite a lot about it. I know it doesn't look like it, but we were actually having an argument. Uh, it's true, we were. And then uh, this photographer comes over and takes our photo, thinking we're a Valentine's Day couple, but we definitely aren't. Before we knew it, the photo had made its way to school, and everybody was jumping to conclusions. So embarrassing. Embarrassing. And now you've seen it, which is just the last straw. It's the last straw. I'm going to have to consider this overnight. You may go. Just a minute. Who took this? Took it? Who was the photographer? Um, some nobody. A bit of an amateur. Well, if you remember their name, let me know. I've been trying for years to get Galway Bay to look as colourful as this. I'd love to know their technique. Was quick thinking in there. Nice. I was basically just telling the truth. At least you're off the hook now. What if somebody tells Miss Murphy they saw us around the school together? I knew that was a bad idea. Hey. Okay, sorry, but Miss Murphy's smart. She'll spot the surf life saving boat. We've got to get that photo back. Grow up. As soon as she notices it's gone, she'll know that we took it. I'll be expelled and you'll be fired. Well, it might happen anyway. What's she gonna say tomorrow? Right. Guess our portaling days are over then. All because of one lousy photo. Listen, I've got to get back. I've got to take some shots for Meredith. I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Brett, there are no photos on the camera. What are you talking about? Of course there are. Go on, give me a look. Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me I've accidentally erased them. What are we going to do now? Well, we'll just have to use the photos you took earlier. But you said they were no good. Maybe I was a bit hasty. Go on, give us a look. No. Not really. Tragic. Worse. What are we going to do now? I'm thinking. You've done it. Done what? That picture you took of me and Hannah. Do, do you still have it on the computer? How did you get it? Filled you, huh? I painted out the surfboat and I printed a new copy. Now all we have to do is swap them and Miss Murphy will be none the wiser. This might actually work. Why are you so surprised? Well... You don't think I have any good ideas, do you? Did I say that? Mm, about 40 or 50 times. Then I take it back. This is a brilliant idea. Good, because you're going to help me swap them. Oh. Miss Murphy's office, 4 a.m. 4 a.m.? Don't be late. 
Well, where are you going now? To get rid of the evidence back home. Give me a heart attack. Sorry, Miss Murphy. Did you hear that racket? Yes. It, it was me. <sighs> Wasn't watching where I was going. <laughs> what are you doing up at this hour? Well, I, I couldn't sleep. Um, worried about our meeting. Oh, Hannah, why do you put me in this position? Sorry, Miss Murphy. Oh, go on. Go back to bed. We'll talk about it in the morning. Yes, miss. Officially broken up. Our relationship's going up in flames. Do you reckon Miss Murphy will let us off? Well, we'll find out soon enough. turn a blind eye when pupils decide to go wandering off to the beach whenever they like. But it was free time, miss. We all make mistakes, miss. It seems there is a rumour going around the school that would suggest a different story to the one that you told me behind this photograph. Well, you know what the girls are like, miss. Gossip mad. Indeed, Hannah, but often where there's smoke, there's fire. There is nothing 
serious between Brett and me. And that's the honest truth. The truth is honest, Hannah. Pardon? Well, you said the honest truth. And if something's true, it must therefore be honest. So there's no need to say the honest truth, just the truth will do. Right. So, let me ask you both, once and for all, is there or has there ever been any romantic liaison between you two? Absolutely not. No, why? And is that the honest... Is that the truth? Definitively. Totally. In that case, as no serious regulations were broken, you may go. Thanks, miss. Um, a word of advice, by the way. Bending the truth means that it is no longer the truth. Don't forget that. We did it. <laughs> By the skin of our teeth. Do you reckon she knows more than she's letting on? Probably. So now we have to be careful. Perfect school citizens. I'm always perfect. Oh. Oh. Brett? Come on, up you get. Huh? Open the door, please. What? We need to have a little talk. Look, whatever I did, I didn't do it. I know I don't normally say this, but this time you deserve it. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Top job, matey. <sighs> Thanks, guys, but what, what for? Helping Meredith with the competition? You know, I would have helped there, but nobody asked me. I, I didn't do that much, did I? <laughs> <laughs> Modesty, Brett, that's not like you. The photo of you and Hannah on the computer. I put it into the Valentine's Day card and it won first prize. But I deleted... <clears throat> I mean, are we talking about the same photo? After you fixed it. Fixed it? You did a fantastic job, all of you. Can't wait to see it in the newspaper. <laughs> Meredith, give me a look at this. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's great. In fact, I think it's the best photo of me and Hannah I've ever seen. And that's the honest truth, Meredith. 